With the release of Seamless 3D 2.164, anyone can jump straight into creating faces by downloading pre-stitched patch structures. Please understand this version has had a lot of work put into it to make it very simple to use and has had only a few hours to test the new features actually work for this video. A number of features such as the radial tug won't yet work for stitch patches but if you only use the features I show in this video hopefully the wheels won't fall off so bear this in mind when experimenting and of course frequently back up your work. Click on the link below to download the minimalist stitchedhead.smls file. I've made the head structure look like a simple spherical shape on purpose so that the artwork is left to the artist to fill out. It will be like beginning with a blank sheet of paper. You don't have to keep starting with a blank sheet of paper each time you make a new face though as you can make copies of your previous work to create endless variations. To change the shape all you have to do is select one of the blue patch nodes in the scene tree if one is not already selected and drag any of the sign control points like this. When modeling in 3D you should frequently change your viewing angle by right dragging on the 3D window. Most of the time it's easiest to drag the control points in non-wireframe mode but when a control point is hidden by triangles toggle into wireframe mode by clicking this button or press the spacebar. Considering all the different styles of smileys that exist, you should be able to make all sorts of different faces from a pre-stitched structure like this. All you need is artistic skill which comes from plenty of practice. To change the pattern of the lips or eyebrows, click on any one of the part nodes in the scene tree and select a triangle on the surface by holding down the Alt key while you click on the surface. Before dragging a vertex, you want to zoom in a good amount using the mouse wheel. When you see this happen, just click on this button to set the view position around the selected vertex. This button also works for a selected control point. Any vertex can be dragged along the surface of a nerves patch, but it cannot be dragged from one patch to another. Never drag a vertex too far at one time and never overlap a vertex into another triangle or it will cause a non-smooth surface. Each time after you release the mouse button, the Join Vertex node will join all the vertices that are close to each other, which is what we want for keeping a smooth continuous surface between the patches. But joining vertices together within a patch this way is something to avoid, as it does not remove any triangles, it only hides them. And this again results in a non-smooth surface and may cause other problems. If you accidentally join a vertex this way, immediately drag it out of the joining range. Never leave it joined. To change the color of a vertex, open the palette by clicking this button. To get the color from the selected vertex, press R. To set the color of the selected vertex, press C. To prevent yourself from accidentally dragging the vertex when clicking it, hold down the control key. To set all of the vertices in a patch that are the same color as the selected vertex, press Ctrl H. This head has been designed to be a minimalist structure so that it is easy for anyone to play with. I will make more variations of this structure and will add some ears and a body soon for others to download. Please let me know in the comments below if you want more control points in specific regions, such as the mouth or eye craters. I will create a new video soon showing how to import and position a stitched structure into an existing NURBS model you have already made. See you in 3D.